And this is a live look, by the way, at the airport tonight. Not exactly the way we're used to seeing it in Atlanta. Hartsfield always very busy. And we're told just moments ago the power came back on in several concourses and the atrium. However, Georgia power crews right now at this hour still on scene working to fully restore the power in the entire airport. All right, so if you've ever wondered what it looks like inside a pitch black airport, check this out. People trying to navigate a very dark concourse there. You really can't see much of anything. And then take a look oh, at my. this. Dozens of passengers forced to walk up the escalators since the power is out. You can see one guy just really sliding down the middle of that escalator. A really chaotic scene there in Atlanta. And we begin our team coverage from Atlanta tonight. NBC's Dan Sheneman with the very latest. A massive power outage at the world's busiest airport. We're all just waiting to find out what's going on and what we're going to do next. Georgia Power says a fire in an underground electrical facility may be to blame. We don't know the cause of the fire. It will take some time to investigate it. We are more focused at this time on restoring power to the airport. All outgoing flights were halted. Arriving planes were held at the point of departure. International flights were diverted. Some arriving passengers were stuck on the tarmac, while others said finding flight information was a struggle. Yeah, we haven't gotten an email or a text, and I am surprised at that. You can't reach the airline to get a different flight because the system is down. This is a mess. The power outage came at the start of a busy travel season. U.S. air carriers are expected to fly 51 million passengers between December 15th and January 4th. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. A lot of folks going to be on the road this week. And tonight, the mayor of Atlanta tweeting that all the passengers who ended up stuck on the tarmac due to the outage have been safely deplane. So uh, again, the holiday week, very, very busy. And right now the mayor also says tonight that Chick-fil-A is mobilizing meals for the thousands of passengers stranded on the ground and inside that airport.